My dear friends all over the world, welcome back again. This is Mr. Salamuk with the English teacher and the self-improvement coach, my dear friends. In this episode, episode number six of our series, Help Me Improve My Speaking Skill, I'm going to help you get to know one of the most important secrets and one of the most effective tips that will tremendously and considerably help you improve your speaking skill as awesomely and magnificently as possible. But before I set the ball rolling, I want just to make sure that most of you know that a story that revolves around this theme. Give me one fish and feed me for one day, but teach me how to fish to feed me for life. In other words, when you feel hungry and someone gives you only one fish, that means that you will die dependent on him. You will die living at his mercy and this is not the real help. The serious help is when that person teaches you how to Catch your fish yourself, and definitely then and only then you know how to catch your own fish and how to feed yourself for life. You know, we can apply this great theme to our daily experiences as teachers and learners. You know that the best teacher ever is not that one who stops his students' minds with a lot of information just because of tests, exams, uh, you know, uh, uh, seminars, lectures, presentations, and so on. I think that the best teacher ever is that one who teaches his students how to understand, how to analyze, how to interpret, how to explain, how to present ideas, how to apply the models, ethics, teachings, rulings to their day-to-day -day experiences. You know that this is the real teaching ever because this way you teach me how to understand every single piece of information I deal with. But when you just keep stuffing my mind with a lot of information just because there is a quiz or because there is a presentation or because there is an exam, you know that I don't have that pure intention for studying. So I study just because of this temporary purpose. So in other words, after a while, all of these ideas will get forgotten. And all of these ideas will evaporate and turn to ashes. So you have to know, my dear teacher, from now on. And I, I wish I could be one of those great teachers who teach their students how to analyze, how to understand, how to let their creative side shine through. You know that here I'm not giving you a lot of ideas and details you have to memorize. I give you methods, strategies, tips you have to follow. Then after that, you don't have any lame excuses to offer. You have only one thing to do, just to act and to apply these tips to your day-to-day -day experiences. That's why today we have another great tip I want you to activate and I want you to apply as wonderfully, greatly, awesomely, and efficiently as possible to your daily routine so that you make sure that you can improve your speaking skill. What is that tip? What is that methodology? It's memorizing a couple of idioms. You have to memorize a couple of idioms all the time, but at first, what is the idiom? The idiom is a couple of words that have a special meaning, and you don't have to memorize these words separately. You have just to memorize them as one concept, as one group. For example, when I say, let me sleep on it. Now, let me sleep on it doesn't mean that you have just to sleep on something. No, 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 no. When I say to you, let me sleep on it, it means let me think about it. Now, when someone says to you, I want to go with you to that park, you say to him, oh, actually, I'm not sure if I can go with you to that park, but let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. That's why today I'm going to share with you a couple of wonderful idioms. Hopefully you can memorize them. Hopefully you can use them as regularly as possible. And after that, I'm sure that you will be independent enough to penetrate your path yourself to increase your knowledge and memorize more idioms and apply them to your daily routine. Now it's time to get to know our three idioms for this episode. Hopefully you can apply them, memorize them, and practice them as regularly and repeatedly as possible. So let's get started. Here we go, my dear friends. As I see the three hit idioms written on the board. Number one, head the hay, or head the sack, head the hay, head the hay, or head the sack. Number two, head the books, head the books, head the books, head the books. And number three, head the road, head the road, head the road. I know that you are wondering over there, Mr. Samuel, what does each idiom mean? Surely, because I love you and I want you to be an effective learner, I don't want to spoon feed you so that I'm going to use these three idioms head the hay, or head the sack, head the road. And 
and hit the books and the three meaningful contexts so that you can understand what each one means. Number one, hit the hay. You know, bro, that I feel so sleepy. It's time to head the hay. What does that mean? Excellent. It's time to sleep. Number two, head the books. Hello, you know, bro, that I have almost five final exams within two weeks. So it's time to head the books. So, ho, ho. It's time to head the books means it's time to study very diligently and very hard. And I know that a lot of students all over the world these days are doing final exams. So I wish you the best of the best. And I'm sure that you are great enough to head the target and get a very nice score not because of tests exams or uh, quizzes I want you to read all the time because you know well that learning is life and life is learning so please don't forget to bridge that gap between you and the book because you know there lies in all kinds of triumph success happiness ecstasy and accomplishments number three the last one head the road 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 what does that mean head the road what does it mean head the road yeah it's very simple you know bro I'm too late. I have an appointment with a ten with a dentist. Sorry, with a dentist. So it's time to head the road. What does that mean? It's time to leave. It's time to head the road. It's time to leave. After we have learned these are three nice idioms: head the road, head the books, and head the hay. I want you to know that memorizing these idioms is very important and extremely crucial because you look naturally, you look like native speakers when you use them. I have shown you the way and you don't have any language excuses to offer right now, so please try to augment your idioms and use them as repeatedly and regularly as possible so that you speak English fluently, automatically, spontaneously, and effortlessly. Until I see you again, I wish you all kinds of ecstasy, inner peace, great success, and wonderful achievements. Have a nice weekend.